20 Money Saving Travel Tips and Secrets That Actually Work Part 1 From Booking Flights to Fine Dining Find out how to save money on holiday Why pay more than you need to on travel? Cut costs and travel cheaper with Skyscanner's 20 Top Tips for Slashing the Price of Your Holiday Number 1 Travel at the Cheapest Times the price of flights varies considerably depending on the month, day, and even time of travel. Skyscanner lets you compare flight prices across a whole month, meaning you'll be able to see the cheapest days to fly, saving you a potential packet. Avoiding the weekends can make a huge impact on the price of flights. Why not compare travel from a Wednesday to Wednesday rather than a Friday to Friday? Using Skyscanner's handy search tool, you'll be able to see a graph view of the cheapest days of the week to fly. Number two, use Skyscanner's Everywhere tool to find the cheapest flights from any airport. Don't mind where you go as long as you can get there cheaply? Then use Skyscanner's Search Everywhere option, which lists the cheapest flights from your local airport in price order. Number three, travel in low season. If you can avoid it, don't head to Australia for Christmas or to Spain just as school summer holidays begin. Travel off-season and you're sure to find better bargains. Much of Europe still has beautiful weather come September, but with kids back at school, flights will be cheaper and your destination a lot less crowded. Number 4. Fly Indirect If money is more important than time, then consider a flight with a stopover. Skyscanner allows you to search for indirect routes, as well as direct, which are often a far cheaper option. The Skyscanner multi-city flight search allows you to search for multiple destinations at once. Number 5. Mix and match your flights. Using Skyscanner's flexible search tool allows you to mix and match your airlines to find the cheapest price and the times that suit you best. You can save money by flying out and back with different airlines or from different airports. Number 6. Pre-book airport parking. If you need to leave your car at the airport for the duration of your trip, be sure to book your parking well in advance. Booking on the day is normally much more expensive. Number 7. Fly from an alternative airport. Even though there may be an airport on your doorstep, don't rule out the possibility that it may be cheaper to fly from one slightly further away. It may work out cheaper, even with the cost of a train or bus ticket to reach the alternative airport. Use Skyscanner's Nearby Airports search feature to see how much it costs to fly from various airports. Number 8. Bring your own food on board. Can you bring food when you fly? Yes, so long as the foods aren't liquid, soup, hummus, yogurt, it's fine to bring snacks and sandwiches. This will also save you a small fortune compared to the in-flight menu. Number 9. Beat the baggage fees. If you're worried about excess baggage charges, why not wear your extra items instead of cramming them into your case? There are some fantastic products on the market that let you take additional belongings on your person, ensuring they won't count as excess baggage. A luggage jacket combined with a good hand luggage bag will get you the absolute maximum amount of luggage on a plane without having to pay any check-in costs. Number 10. Weigh your luggage before you leave home. Some of us get to the airport to find we're over our baggage limit and end up paying puffed up charges. Avoid this by weighing your bag before you leave home and take out any unnecessary items if you find you're over the limit.